So this is the three candle teaser that we saw about. It was a Diablo hero. It wasn't Deckard, but it's the very popular, much requested aspect of death from Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, Malthael. He's going to be an assassin. Uh, let's take a look at his trait first. Basic attacks afflict non-structured targets with Reaper's Mark for 4 seconds. Marked enemies are revealed and take damage equal to 2.5% of their max health every 1 second. So one auto on someone is 10% of their health. I wonder at his attack speed and his survivability. That seems pretty powerful, but let's reserve judgment for now. Uh, soul Rip. Extract the souls of nearby enemies afflicted by Reaper's Mark, dealing 100 damage and healing Malthael for 44 per target hit. Heroic targets heal Malthael for an additional 3% of the hero's maximum health. Wait. Oh, it works on minions, bosses. And now it says enemies, so I'm assuming structures count as well. Oh, no, no, it's non-structure. Okay, so this works on monsters, mercenaries, bosses, objective creatures, vehicles, heroes, and minions. It's only non-structures. So let's say his attack speed is one per second. You can get your trait on three to four people. And so you will deal all of them damage when you activate your Q and you will heal from all of the targets that you damage in such a manner. Okay, that seems pretty good. Wait, is my music softer than usual? I think it is, because I was doing a patch notes review yesterday. That seems pretty strong. Heroic targets heal Malthael for an additional percentage health. Wraith Strike. Instantly teleport through an enemy. Mobility. Instantly teleport through an enemy afflicted by Reaper's Mark, dealing 59 damage and refreshing Reaper's Mark. Okay, so through, I would expect, means the exact opposite direction where you were when you cast it. So 180 degrees different direction than that hero. So you teleport on their other side. I don't know if you teleport on the other side at melee range or if you teleport on the other side at the same range that you were when you cast it. Deathrat. After a quarter second, unleash a wave of dark mist that applies Reaper's Mark to enemies it hits. Now, I don't know the radius yet, but we might, we might learn a little bit more about it. They say he has high damage, low utility, uh, high survivability and high complexity. I mean high, above average. Alright. Uh, okay, so yeah, clearly he autoed them before and then when he presses his Q, he deals damage and gains life. This one is the teleportation. There's one leg here, one here, I guess? So he's like very dynamically ha, jumping and uh, swinging his sides, getting to another side. There's like a bitmap on Muradin where he's dealing them damage and refreshing Reaper's Mark. That's probably the mark, that bitmap that looks like a Starcraft crystal. And Death Route, a wave of dark mist. Now this looks like a direction-based linear ball of energy. So, like this. <laughs> Not squiggly. It doesn't look squiggly. And we don't know how far it travels. Uh, tormented. Oh yes, it's heroics. Gain 20 armor and unleash a torrent of souls. Continually applying Reaper's Mark to nearby enemies for 4 seconds. Uh, a torrent of souls. We don't know the direction, but let's take a look at the picture. Aha. It's an area around him at roughly two and a half, three range. And in that area, he, he 
applies Reaper's Mark, so it's damage and 20 armor. You know, I just found the solution to Sumuro's Bladestorm conundrum. You cast Bladestorm and you die. Sumuro also needs armor when he Bladestorms, I can tell you that. 10 or 20. He needs the Malthael treatment, please, please. Anyway, that's that's a good way of you know making him a bit more viable, otherwise he's probably going to get bursted. Last rites. Apply a death sentence to an enemy hero. <laughs> that sounds good. That, after two seconds, deals damage equal to 50% of their missing health. So if they're full life, it doesn't do anything. If they're 10% life, they will die. Because... 50% of 90% is 45%, 10% minus 45% is minus 35%. If they're half life, they will go to a quarter. If they're at a quarter life, they will die. In fact, you'll find that if they're at 33% or less, they will die. I know this because I just uh, divided 66 by 33 and I got 33. So it's pretty cool, it's kind of a reverse, not entirely reverse, but it's reminiscent of Ancestral Healing, where you, and Divine Palm, where you do a thing, and then your team has time to damage them, and their team has time to heal him. I think There we go. Wow, oh, thank you, Oliver. The shirt is messing with my eyes. What is this sorcery? What shirt? Did I say 66 divided by 33 is 33? No, I didn't mean that. I mean divided by 2. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty interesting. It's like a delayed curse. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it's different in Cursed Bullets. It's different in Ancestral. But anyway, this is uh, very interesting. It, it seems strong. It will be shitty if it seemed weak, right? Okay. So, huge animation above Greymate's head. Damage this guy, because he will take more damage. Love it. Read the rest. Oh, repeatable quest. Yeah, I should read the rest. Thanks, Ashiri. Repeatable quest. Enemies killed while under the effect of last rites. Permanently reduce its... What? <laughs> Permanently reduce its cooldown by 5 seconds to a minimum of 15. This is so cool, because this is like... Uh... The first team quest in the game. The very first team quest. Where your entire team can help to quit. I mean, Taste for Blood is kind of like a team quest. So it's not technically the first team quest, but it will feel very team-like. A 50 second execute. But here's the thing. We don't know the original cooldown. It could have a very impactful cooldown of 5 minutes to begin with. Probably not. I'm expecting... I'm expecting Tormented Souls will have a cooldown of 90 seconds. So it's 20 seconds less than Bladestorm and much better. Um, Bladestorm used to be shorter too. They they nerfed it because his win rate is so good. I don't know why I'm comparing it to Samuro by the way. But I'm expecting it'll be 90. Um, yeah... Yes and no, I guess. There's, there's, there's some, definitely something to be said for it. Last rites, I would say... Cursed Bullet is 30 seconds. This one's gonna be... I mean, power creep is not always a thing in this game. I would say... 30 for Cursed Bullet is already too good. And I don't think it should be that way. So I don't think this one should be 30. And it should be an enticing quest, so minimum 5. I would say it's 40 or more. I'm gonna guess 45. 45 seconds, yeah. Explore more heroes! Cool, well, that was awesome. Maltael. It still, I think, isn't good enough. I don't think it was used in HTC at all once, I believe, in NA by Fey. But then uh, anything goes there. Base attack damage increase. That's a significant buff. 
That's a significant buff. Well, that's a significant buff. 